So a light box on your website is a great way to highlight an image by itself, especially if it's in a gallery. Now in Framer, there's two ways of creating a light box. There's the simple way, and then there's the advanced way, which will give you more control. So in this tutorial, we're gonna cover both, so you too can make images stand out in Framer with zero code. Let's go. Okay, so here we have a Framer project. Now, what I have set up is a CMS with some images and also a gallery as well. And we are in the CMS detail page. Now, how light boxes work is essentially it's an effect which you can apply to any image on the canvas. So whether it be in a CMS page, a gallery, or just an image by itself, you can actually create a light box effect. So in this example, we'll use the gallery so we can apply this same effect to multiple images. So inside our gallery here, we've got our image uh, frame. And then what I'm gonna do is go to effects. And you will notice we have this field called lightbox. And we'll click on that. And now we can essentially add the styling and control options for that said lightbox. So we'll set a maxed width. So the actual width or the size that the image is gonna get to. So let's just for now leave it at 800 pixels. We can set some padding around the outside so it doesn't overflow. And we can also set the Z index, which essentially means does it appear above or behind other elements on the page? We can also set a backdrop color too. So maybe we want to get real funky and have something white or just have it on a solid black. We can set all that property here. And we can also set the transition in. So if we want something a little bit smoother, we might actually reduce the stiffness here to say 200. And you'll see at the bottom here, it'll kind of smoothly come in just like so. Now this basically works pretty similar to an overlay if you've used them in Framer a little bit. Essentially, we've got a backdrop here and a transition. And then all I need to do is preview this. And then you'll notice when I actually click on one of these images, you'll notice that light box effect will appear and that image will kind of come to the center of the page. Now we can take this a step further and actually add a custom cursor state to this as well. So if we pick a web cursor and then actually select the uh, select one here, then when I actually hover, you will notice we actually get that correct state as it wasn't really showing before. And as you can tell, that's a pretty simple way to add light boxes. Super simple, very easy to do. But if you want to do an advanced version of this, I'm going to show you how as well. So here I have a simple page set up and actually what I've done is used a collection list here to display all the thumbnails for my articles. So if I go back to my CMS here, you will notice in each one of these items, we have a hero image, which essentially is another gallery. Now, what I want to do is actually build a customized lightbox effect. So to do this, we're not actually going to apply the lightbox effect at all. We're actually going to utilize overlays and components. So what I'm going to do is firstly select this image here, and I'm going to create this as a component. And we'll call this our lightbox, and we'll call it our image. And we'll create that here. Now you will notice because it was already inside a collection list, it's already created a variable for the image. So let's actually go ahead and set a default for this. So let's just find a random uh, image off of Unsplash. Okay, cool. And let's set this as our default state. Now I'm also gonna add a new variant, which is going to be the styling for when that light box is open. So in this case, we'll call it uh, open. And now we might actually tweak how this looks. So maybe when it's open, it's gonna be a little bit more full like so. Uh, maybe the radius is gonna to change too. So maybe we actually wanna reduce the bezels around the outside. We still wanna keep a little bit around this, but we don't wanna to go too extreme with it. And you can really take this as far as you want. Let's even go ahead and add a little bit of drop shadow here as well. And we'll reduce that opacity. Okay, looks pretty good. So on closed or our default state, we'll kind of have this round sort of effect. And then when we actually trigger that image to open, it will kind of expand and the shape will change as well. So let's go back to our page here and you'll notice that I can obviously select between the variants now, but that's not really what we want to do because the interaction that we want to create is when I actually click on one of these images, it opens a light box like effect, which in this case is going to be an overlay. So let's select our component here and we'll go to overlays and we're going to create a fixed overlay, which is used for modals, toasts or videos. But in this case, 
light boxes. And now what we can actually do is go to our assets tab. We'll grab that light box component again, and we'll drag it into the page. Now I'm actually going to change the variant to be our open state and we can adjust the size to be however we want. So in this case, I might actually just set a fixed width of 800 pixels and even the height might be say 500 pixels. Or we could even make it relative and we could use a percentage as well. So if we wanted it to be say 90% width, we could do that here too. And maybe we do the same for the height as well. Let's also set the height to be 90%. Cool. And let's also make this centered to the page. And this looks pretty good. Now, the last thing I need to do here, because it's a component, is actually tie that image to the field in the CMS itself. So I'll go down to that component here that we've set up and we'll set the variable to be image, which is basically pulling directly from the CMS collection. So now essentially inside this CMS collection, we have a component which is using the image. And then for that component, we're actually acting an overlay on top of that. So when I actually click and preview this, you will notice it opens that image and then I can close out of that overlay, essentially creating our light box effect. Now, why would you do it this way compared to say the normal light box way, which again, looks pretty good. You know, there's some nice sort of like easy transitions here. And to be honest, if you're just creating a simple light box, I probably recommend this way. Now, the reason you do it the advanced way is when you want a little bit more control over the styling. So for example, here on this overlay, because it is and just an overlay, I can customize this however I want. I could add more effects. I could actually have a close icon here. I could have links to that image. I could have links to view other images. We can actually get a lot of control here. So for example, let's open up this overlay again and let's actually set a custom transition for this image to load. So we'll select that component and we'll go to effects and we'll get the appear effect happening. So we'll make it that on appear, so when it actually loads in, we're going to add a effect that it's going to slide in from the bottom. And let's make it slide in from 100Y, so 100 uh, down from the initial position. And then we'll set our transition to, and we'll make it a little bit smoother. So now when I actually click on an image, you'll notice we get a nice sort of fade in effect, which isn't necessarily something that we can do a lot of within normal sort of light box controls. And like I said, if we want to customize this light box further, say if we wanted to add a description with some text, I could also pull that in here too. And since everything's kind of already connected to my CMS, it should be relatively straightforward. So let's say we have some text here and we want to align it to the bottom left. We can just do that. And let's just have it overlapping. I think that's okay. And we'll pin it 40 pixels from the left and 40 pixels from the bottom. Actually, let's go a little less. Let's go 25. Or actually what we might do is we'll center it. And what we'll do is we'll actually make it so this text sits directly underneath this image here. So to do that, I'm actually just gonna set the height to be fixed for a second and we'll drag that up. And we're actually gonna put both of these inside their own frame. And this way we just have a little bit more control over the auto layout. And then let's bring this size down. Let's say uh, we're gonna set it to 24 pixels. And then let's actually make this the name of the article. So we'll set the width of this to be auto and we'll get rid of that max width. And then I'm going to click the little plus next to the content, go set variable, and then we'll set that to be the title. And then we could always take this a step further and add an on peer effect for this one as well. So we might make it fade in from, uh, again, let's say 100 uh, pixels below the starting point. And then we'll also set the stiffness to be 150 again, but this time we'll add a delay of 0.2 seconds. So that means the image should come in and then 0.2 seconds later, the title should come in. So let's actually preview this and see how it looks. Awesome. And then as I click on each one, you will notice that the text is changing based on the CMS item itself. So this is just a way we can actually create a light box with a little bit more control in Framer. And again, because it is advanced and it's customized, we can do whatever we want. And that's how you create light boxes in Framer.
Again, there's two ways of doing it, the simple way or the advanced way. It's completely up to you and depending on your use case. Now, if you enjoyed this frame of tutorial and you want more videos just like it, consider subscribing because we're putting out new Framer videos every single week. And if you are interested in mastering Framer, like truly mastering it, feel free to check out my ultimate Framer Masterclass course. It's got over 100 hours, 10 hours of content. We essentially built a Duolingo for Framer. But until next time, I'll catch you later.